Good morning, everybody. Uh, I wanted to do a very brief review on these foam blocks. Obviously, it's a pretty simplistic product, so it doesn't need a detailed review, but I really like them, so I wanted to do a review. Uh, Kizo, I, you had asked me where I got that from, I believe, in a comment thread earlier in the week. I forgot to answer it, and when I went back to look for it, I couldn't find it, so apologies for the delay. Amazon, they're all from Amazon. If you type in gun block stand, you'll find all these on the first page or two. Uh, I wasn't, I didn't really, I was impatient when I bought this. I should have just looked a little deeper to find these. Um, I just don't like the look of it. And it's plastic. They, you're supposed to fill it with sand or water, but you don't need to. It's stable without it. The foam blocks are even lighter than this. But when I found these, I just liked the uniform look. Uh, this pair was, I think, 23 or $24. This pair was a little more, a hair under 30. Um, obviously, this one, even when it's up on end, it's a little shorter than these foam blocks. And what I wanted was a stand that I could use where I wouldn't be putting the weight of the gun on the mag in the VKS anymore. Uh, if you just use a rear block and set the tank there, it will stabilize the gun and you can support the weight of it on the mag, but when the mag rests underneath the gun, it shifts forward just a little and inward, and I just don't want to put that unnecessary stress on it when it's just sitting there doing nothing. So I needed a, a block that was tall enough to raise that mag just a hair off the ground so that it's not having any pressure put on it. And these were fine on the front end because I have that little rail there that just gives me the slightest quarter inch of raise, which gives me that. But on the rear, I needed to put a little piece of foam in there so that the gun would be level. But it works, I really like them. Uh, I really like these blocks for the FN303 because it's been a bit of a challenge finding a way to mount these on a, on a gun block. You can't just put the, the rear on a block and have it be stable. And even if you have one in front and one in back, it still wants to lean to one side due to the weight of the tank. So these were just etched in right. It, it worked to where my barrel is resting on the foam as is the tank. Whereas most of them, the tank will hit the foam block before the barrel does. And that makes for some instability, but that's just a, a perfect fit right there. And what I did in the back was just etch down in to that a little bit at kind of a, an angle going upward like that so that that could just sit nice and snug. And once I did that, this is super stable. I could grab both blocks and pull them forward and scoot them back and this won't wobble at all. So I'm super satisfied with it. I've got one more coming in the mail to set another one of these FN303s on and I've got Several of these coming uh, from my other VKS builds, and I would highly, highly recommend these. Definitely recommend them over what I first got, which is this. And that is the exact same height as that block, but it's just ugly, you know? I mean, maybe it's not. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but I just, I, I wasn't crazy about it. And when I found these, I was happy. So there you have it. Cheers.